Hi, I'm joined today with Deborah Coleman, or would you prefer Deborah Deb's Cox? Fine. Deb's Deb Deb's, Coxie. Deb's, <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm joined today with Deb. Um, now, we've known each other 100 years, is 150, it? I think. About that, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, yeah. 1978 or something, probably, yeah, wasn't it? Yeah, 1978, yeah. We used to, both of us used to work in Debenhams, and um, uh, we've kept in touch ever since. So, and Deb went on to do fantastic things with photography and many other design you went on cruise ships that, that, and design window dresser when I was window at dresser yeah. Yeah, yeah um so anyway up to date now you're now a professional photographer yeah. um journalism and that kind of thing i went to university and i studied photojournalism and documentary photography um, which i absolutely loved uh, prior to that i did a, a degree in um professional photography but i got bitten by the photojournalism bug and I absolutely love it. And now, um, now you're doing weddings. Yeah, and, and, doing all sorts. And also Bath Abbey is a big, is a bigger. Uh, yeah, a I'm photographer location. in residence yeah. at Bath Abbey, wow. um, which is which is great. So, um, so I get to do architecture. I get to do visits, oh, what awesome. royal work. It's it's good. Yeah, get it's me really down good. there. Yeah, definitely yeah. come down yeah. for the day. Yeah, and um, because you do, you know, a whole range of different things. I thought I love Pentax cameras. Now I know. You are traditionally a Nikon person. You are. I'm a Nikon you girl. are one of those Nikon versus Canon people, aren't I'm you? I'm one of those Nikon's dreadful, better than Canon, yeah. and Canon users would say Canon's better than Nikon, and they both would say Pentax is crap. Yeah, well, Pentax is crap. My no. very first SLR pre-digital was a Pentax ME Super, Super, which mm. I ax well, I flogged. I used my, to sell them when yeah, we worked in Denham. Yeah, brilliant, yeah. I <laughs> flogged got my one, dad's actually. cine camera. Um, yeah, here we go, look. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I know Super. what I'm doing with this. I've got yeah. two of these. Now, they are very different to the modern line of Pentax cameras, yeah. oh, I know, aren't baby, they? Yeah. You know. Oh, I love this. They are very Apparently that one still works, although I've never... Mine still works. I still use mine. Oh, you have still got yours, I've got you? two. I bought one. I had mine that I bought in uh, about 82, 83. Well, obviously Pentax, um, I say obviously, you may not know, but uh, it's from, you know, after the film cameras, they did very little in digital and they wasn't really a particularly well-known brand or a particularly good brand when they, their first lot of digital cameras came out. Um, but since Rico bought Pen, again, some of you may not know, Pentax is owned by Rico now, and they basically reinvented wow. the brand. And uh, I thought I'd lend you a couple of my Pentaxes just to see what you thought, being that you're a Nikon fan. Yeah, I definitely. know you were bricking yourself, really, because you yeah. never, A, because you'd never used Pentax, and it was also a range of cameras you didn't know where the buttons were and how it worked but how, how anyway how did you get on how did I, yeah, get on? I need I obviously to know took, because it was a live job i yeah. took my own cameras Which as well makes Belt sense and i would i would absolutely recommend yeah, that to i, would, I wouldn't yeah. i wouldn't shoot somebody's wedding without that said i absolutely love them i went out for some practices yeah. first um and I, so, I got, so actually we've got, got here, really we've nice got here the k70 which has got the uh, pentax 18 to 135 lens on and um the um, Pentax K3, which I left the 10 to 20 lens on, which is pretty much a wide angle. Yeah. It is, it's a wide angle lens. It's a good generic lens for a wedding. Um, now I, I love using both of them. I'm a big Pentax fan now. What what you know? What did you enjoy uh, about them, or was there anything annoying that you found annoying with them? This one, the uh, K3, K three, sorry, K seventy, I absolutely adored. Right. I loved them both. Yeah. Um, but the, I mean, I found the functionality. I got very quickly got used to it. Very right. similar to Nikon, the way right. Nikon's work. Yeah. Um, just just from a functionality point of view. The only annoying thing. More, it's more operator error than camera. Oh, well, <laughs> camera design. No, no, not necessarily. I kept accidentally pressing the video um, right, because right. Um, <laughs> I told you operator error. So because you had to go right back for that. But that said, on the plus side, oh my goodness, this is so easy to use and so easy to change the ISO. Um, right. The wedding yeah. I happened to be shooting was in thick fog. Um, <laughs> not ideal. Oh, I've got some lovely pictures, but I had to keep changing my ISO. Loved it easy to focus, nice compact handheld, good weight. So it was really lovely. People kept asking me about them actually at the wedding. No, did they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Said, oh, what's that then? What's that? I haven't seen one of those. Oh, those big professional cameras. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But well, you see a lot of people still mock Pentax. 
should. When you look at it in the industry, a lot of people still mock Pentax as, oh, you use a Pentax kind of thing. You yeah. Know. Oh, oh, you, you, can't, you can't be any good because you're not using a Canon or a Nikon. Or actually Sony Photo's these days as well. Snobbery. It's not about... Uh, it is. It is photo. Yeah. It is, the kit's uh, great. The kit yeah. enhances yeah. what you do, but it's yeah. about... If you're a good photographer, you can take it. You can shoot a wedding on a mobile phone. You could. You know. And you it, absolutely could. Yeah. So, I'll have to do a video on that one day, actually. Shoot a wedding on a mobile phone. Yeah. I'm not so I sure... I might do I'm not so sure, cli- <laughs> not so sure the client would be too impressed with me turning up with a mobile phone to shoot their wedding, but... <laughs> but, you know, I mean, the quality of, of mobile phones now, you know, it's, it's no, amazing. Yeah. But, um, and I'm not advocating anybody shooting a wedding on no, a mobile phone. No. But um, th- going back to the Pentax, really easy to use, easy to focus, um, just fantastic good little wrist strap on this one because obviously you won't buy cameras I make sure it's completely yeah I, I'm actually not a strappy person I noticed that you have put a strap on the K3 yeah. obviously which, which makes sense because I dent it to you and you didn't want to drop it and yeah and also with it, my own know. kit I always have a strap just in case because if, I, if I'm usually shooting with a minimum of two cameras I mean I had four on this occasion but so I've got one over my shoulder one around my neck so I can you know I yeah, need to invest yeah. in a really good sort of strap thing but um, but yeah it's um, just, I know, what I loved about them was the fact that these displays, as you said yourself, the display is so big yeah. and it's so easy to make adjustments. That has an advantage because it's got the tilty, wilty, flippy screen. Yeah, thing. I forgot. I didn't well, use it. I oh, didn't you? I completely forgot. Oh, I just used oh, it just as, left, as an aid memoir right. so that I could see what right. I was shooting. Which of course, I your found Nikon really hasn't got a tilty, wilty screen, no, has it? We so got you're not. Tiny, no, no, of course not. So this I just felt very, very comfortable with, and yeah. I could see and flitting from um, live view through to um, viewfinder was very easy, very easy so right, it was not right. why I used that but it was great and yeah. you found the lens combination work for you the lens sort combo of a wide worked. angle on one and a sort of a wide yeah. to telephoto on the other work fine this came into its own in the evening because oh, I don't use it? flash um, for wedding photography anyway I just don't like it it, it just zaps all the colour yeah, in the atmosphere yeah, and everything yeah, no, I no. tend to just flip my ISO um, and use tripods or monopods right, and things right. like that so but in the evening um, that was amazing. We've got some really good um, So you, you were able to get good handheld shots on this. Yeah. Yeah. See, these, these cameras, as most modern day cameras, have got anti-shake on them. So yeah. um, you, you can shoot at very low shutter speeds and still get, you know... Um, we can't show the actual wedding photos, unfortunately, because no. the clients hasn't seen them yet. But I've had a look through them and I think you did a fantastic job, Deb. Thank you. Thank you. It's a great... They're both great cameras. I can't... I can't so, wait to use them again, actually. So if you weren't committed to Nikon, which you are, and now you've got the flashes, the, the lenses, and the whole ecosystem, would you, if you weren't, if you were starting out now, and you'd borrowed these, would you actually carry on using Pentax? Yeah, I would. You would? I mean, I used yeah. to be a Pentax girl anyway. I love, love yeah, my Pentax so, and the yeah, Super. Yeah. Um, yeah, I still got them. Did you but, know, out of idle curiosity, you might not know this, but you can actually use, when I put the old... ME Super. Uh, there it is. That? There it is. These old Pentax K mount lenses from the 70s and 80s work on these modern Do day they? digital cameras. Brilliant. So they've got the same, is it bayonet fitting? Yeah, got the same. yeah. <gasps> you can whack that on there. Manual focus, it won't auto yeah, focus, but. That's but cool. um, wherever the red dot is, that will actually work on that. Can you believe that? That's, that's phenomenal, isn't it? Amazing. Yeah, that's really good. I actually wouldn't mind Look. buying one of these and to take it to weddings for doing the, the night shots because it's yeah. so yeah. it's just so compact. It's and also when you're trying to get because I'm a photojournalist, when you're at a wedding and you've got cameras, everybody stares at you and you get the typical shots. I like I'm all about reportage and just trying to get those candid moments. Right. Um and with a smaller camera that's got the capabilities of the of the Yeah. You know Yeah, that is that is quite compact. Yeah. Uh, the K seventy is and the K seventy's got their modern engine in for, you know, because I shoot from the hip quite a lot because right. I don't like people seeing what I'm doing. So I've got the camera and I you know And you did mention to me one thing that scares the hell out of you and I think scares would I don't know if scares the right word, but um images being deleted or the the card becomes corrupt. One great thing about the K3 and, and professional Nikon cameras yeah. as well, and Canon, it's got the, the dual SD Fantastic. card slot. Yeah, I found that really, really useful. So you, you've got, uh, it's a mental thing, isn't it? You, you've got peace of mind yeah. that you know. I mean, like all my filming kit, um, the JVC I'm using here has got two memory cards yeah. and it's great. It's really good. Because the other day I'd done some filming with a little Sony 
and um, the memory card was corrupt. Oh, see, that's your big fear, especially Isn't when you're it? doing a wedding. That's Isn't what it? I always take, yeah, loads yeah. and loads of memory cards, and I keep swapping them because yeah. I never buy a massive memory card no, because no, I would put, never shoot one wedding no, on that. No, I, keep, even when I'm in the studio, I, I tend to swap memory cards just to make, and I keep checking, making sure I've got um, the shots that I need. Um, but yeah, I'm a big advocate for changing memory cards, but with two, it's perfect, it's really good. I, I love both. I, I'm a big Pentax fan now. I like them. You know. I, the results um, I've got from both are great. Um, really I, I've just got another new tool to play with <gasps> as well. A little, a little Sony. It's an old camera actually. It's the A6000, but oh, wow. this apparently is meant to take really great photos. So we'll have to um, go out and play with that. Yeah, I've got the two, the two Sigma art lenses to go with that. So we'll, we'll take that out for a spin. And... Um, See what we think of that. Yeah, but, brilliant. So there we go. Well, Deb, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thanks Thank you for, for letting for... me trial them. I loved them. I've actually seriously considered buying one of these. Yeah, to take with me well, as, good. as an addition to my kit. Good, so, good. Yeah. It just means you've got a double invest in Nikon and Pentax, so it's a bit of a pain, oh, really, it's isn't it? Expensive old hobby. Isn't I know. It? <laughs> <laughs> the idea is you make money out of what yeah, you're doing. Yeah, but if I can use my Pentax lenses that I've already got, I've got about you can. six Manual of them at focus, home. manual yeah, focus. But, hey. but 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 you can Proper indeed. photography. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, back in the old days, eh? God, dear, that is old school. Um, so there we go. Look, absolute pleasure. Lovely for you to come in. No, you're and, welcome. And uh, we'll get out and about, do some more, and um, yeah, again, thanks Watch for coming your space. in. Yeah, thanks, indeed, good stuff. Take see care. You soon. Lovely to see and you. And you as well. <laughs>